Greetings, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about configuring group policy for folder redirection. Now, <clears throat> the idea behind folder redirection is pretty simple. We just don't want the users to lose their data. So to help make this a reality, we're going to move their data off their local machine for both their desktop and their My Documents and redirect that data to a folder location on a file server somewhere else on the network. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create that folder. So I've gone up inside of my current PC, which is my server here for server 2012. I'm going to the C drive, and I have created a folder called user data. Now I've right-clicked on data, the user data folder, and I've gone into the sharing tab, and I have enabled sharing, and I have added the everyone group as those who are authorized to have access to the share on the network. Now what's important to note here is that this path, this is the path, the network path, to this share that we created for backing up the user's desktop and their My Documents. This is the UNC path or the network path, and this is what we have to use when we go up inside of group policy and tell it where to redirect the users my documents and their desktop too very important so we're going to go ahead and take a note of that close this out close this out now you can call this folder anything you want i call it user data you can call it data backup you can call it uh, you know my documents whatever you want you can create two different folders you can create one folder for users desktops and you re redirect all their desktops over to that folder you can create another folder and share that out. Call it um, My Documents, Users Documents. And you can share out the My Documents information from the user over to that folder. Or you can do it as I've done here and just use a single folder. Because when the user actually logs on to the domain, those two folders will automatically be redirected to the user's data to this remote location which is a file server so I've already got those two folders separated anyway so I don't see the need for the two folders but that is an option all right back to the desktop here on my server 2012 virtual install I have server manager let's go to tools let's go to group policy management now there are a number of different ways I can do this I prefer to keep my group policy objects to a minimum the reason that is is because we start creating all these group policy objects and the next thing you know the users happen to wait 30 minutes before they can log on because they're pulling down one policy after another and the best policy that you can have is to have as many settings or security settings applied to a single policy as opposed to multiple policies okay it's better to load up one policy and go down the settings whether they are configured or not and check or as opposed to just multiple policies okay so we're going to use in this case underneath the group policy objects we're going to select the default domain policy this is already in effect and i want everybody in the domain to have their data backed up so it only makes common sense to use an existing uh, group policy object so i right click on my default domain policy object i'm going to go to edit underneath users configuration I'm going to expand that go to policies I'm going to go to windows and underneath windows you'll see that I have folder redirection I expand folder redirection and I've already configured one here for the desktop so I just want to go uh, or, the, or the documents I believe it was so I'm going to go ahead and just show you what I've done here so what we've done here is I've set the settings and we have a number of them in here we have not configured advanced and basic uh, we can use the basic settings for most, nearly every instance that we're going to run this policy. And we also select create a folder for each user under the root path. And this is that UNC that we learned about when we looked at the folder we created. Okay. Now normally when this pops up, it's going to go, I'll show you what it does. Let me go ahead and copy this. Normally what happens is if you browse over here to the button and you go into the uh, computer here the local disk and then you select user data and you say okay it comes up c colon backslash user data and that's fine if everything on this local server 
needs to be redirected, but we're not concerned with the data on this local server. We're concerned with the data on the user's machines that are spread out all over the domain. So those users can't see this. That's why we have to use a UNC path. So it's WAC, WAC, DC1, WAC, user data. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say apply to that. Now, there is one other setting in here that we want to pay particular attention to, and that is the redirect the folder back to the local user profile location when the policy is removed. This is very important. If I don't have this selected and I roll out this policy, and then I come back in and I delete the policy, all the user's data is going to remove be left up onto the server where it was redirected. By using this option, if I decide that I no longer want to back up the user's data to the remote server, well now I can come in and I can remove the policy and everything should be redirected back to its original location. Go ahead and say apply. And this is just a warning about this group policy is not set to back up legacy type clients. So if you want to apply this to Windows 2000 uh, and 2000 Server and Windows XP and Windows Server 2003 operating system, just check the box if you have those type of uh, legacy clients on the network. Now we're going to go up here and do the same thing with our desktop. So I'm going to right click on my desktop. I'm going to go to Properties. And underneath the settings, I'm going to select Basic, direct everyone's folder to the same location. And again, the root path has to be the UNC. WAC, WAC, DC1, WAC, user data. Okay. And I want to go back in and make sure the setting is selected for redirection in case I remove this policy. Now, this is very important if you start messing with these other options for folder, for folder redirection. I don't recommend that you play around with this stuff too much. If you've got the user's desktop and their documents backed up, that's about all you need. Whatever you do, do not play around with the app, app data. That's going to cause you a lot of grief if that doesn't work right. Now, the second thing that you want to take into consideration is, is if you have remote locations. If you have remote locations, do not apply this policy at the domain level. You want to apply it at some other level, but not at the domain level, especially if those users at the remote location are pulling down the default domain policy across the WAN link. That's going to cause their data or their desktop and their my docs to be transferred over that WAN link and that's going to cause you bandwidth issues. So don't do that. Okay. We're going ahead and say okay to that. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and log off here on my Windows 7 machine. I'm going to log back in and we're going to see if I pick up the policy. Now if the policy doesn't appear then what you have to do is just restart and you can also run the GP update forward slash force and that will oftentimes fix the issue. But this is a pretty good policy and I don't have much problem with making it work. So my desktop is coming back up now and again as I said before you can run the GP update and so I'm going to go ahead and bring up my command prompt. I'm going to type in gp update forward slash force and we're going to let the policy just have a second to refresh and I shouldn't have any problems and it tells me that the client side extension folder re redirection was unable to apply one or more settings and we're going to confirm that. I don't want to log off right now so I'm going to say no to that. Just close that out. So I'm going to go up here into my documents. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to properties. And if we look at the properties here, we see that the group policy for the my documents did take place. And we see that because we have the UNC path as opposed to a local path for the no normal storage for my my documents. So the my documents is now being pushed out to my file server which is DC1 and there, up inside that folder we created and there's a folder up there called administrator where my desktop or my documents is being stored and we can test this by just going into documents here and I can create a folder I'll just create a folder and we're going to call it test 
and then we're just going to do like that just close it out now I'm going to go back over to my server 2012 virtual machine I'm going to go into the C drive and I'm going to check to see if that folder actually did appear up in here and there's my administrator folder and there's my documents and there's the test all right so we know that it's working and this is what it's going to look like for you when the users transfer their data for the first time so I will see everybody in the next video, and I thank you for watching.